everybody, I'm Allie, and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today we're going to make our cute little pixies here. We're going to make the star light up and twinkle. Stay tuned. To help with positioning, I have printed out this paper copy of exactly the same digital image from the front of our card. And I'm literally just going to stick it right to the inside of the card. This helps with positioning your lights and your entire circuit. First, we're going to map out our entire circuit and then we're going to apply all of our products. We're going to be using craft effects today and we've got a twinkle sticker and each of the craft effects stickers are clearly labeled. So now that we've mapped out our circuit, and I like to do this because I like a visual and to make sure that all my connections have been made. For the craft effects stickers, uh, positives and negatives are indicated on the sticker. So it's easy to connect your positive line to the positive side of your LED stickers. Okay, now we can take our fabric adhesive tape and this is conductive and it's as easy as pulling it out and peeling it off your backer paper. So let's add this to our circuit. I always start with the negative side of my circuit and the reasoning behind that is so that it can be placed underneath the batteries because the negative terminal is on the bottom of the battery and the positive is on the top of the battery so therefore I always start my circuit by putting my negative down first. The fabric tape is very very flexible and you can bend and crease and do pretty much anything to it uh, and it will still conduct electricity so we're just going to bend it across there we're going to take this tape up to meet our batteries. Sometimes I like to use my bone folder just to get it around those corners. And all you have to do is use your fingertips and press it down to attach to your paper or whatever surface you're using this on. So I am going to place two yellow LED lights onto our card today. So I have put them side by side. The conductivity of the stickers is both on the top of the sticker and the bottom of the sticker. So therefore, you can overlap them just like that. And there we go. Negative side of the circuit. Next, we need to build a little house for our batteries. You can use one battery or two. It's personal preference. I've already laid down three sides and I'm just using a three-dimensional sticky foam. And you just remove the backer and we have one more piece just to hold everything in and I should have cut this to size before I took off the backer but that's okay so just making sure that my batteries are all nice and snug and that fourth piece just helps everything stay in place now let's work on the positive side of our circuit so let's make the switch for our circuit. I have a piece of cardstock here that is a little bit smaller than the void where our batteries sit. And we're gonna start by placing this conductive fabric tape all across one side of our switch here. If I can get it to cooperate with me. <laughs> I try to run it down the middle as best I can. That way we have better contact. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to physically wrap it completely around. Because we want it on both sides of that housing. And what this does is that it makes contact with the battery when it is placed down like such. So you press and that battery is then connected to the circuit to complete the circuit. So now we need to attach this little fella to the top. I like to use a nice sticky tape. We're just gonna put a little bit of that to make a hinge. Just peel off that backer. 
and attach that switch aspect. There we go. And because this, if I run this flat to the card, it's going to hit the negative side of our circuit and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to bend our fa fantastic fabric tape. We are going to go right straight up and this will not affect that circuit at all. And we're going to go down that three dimensional step and off to the twinkle we go. A quick snip and we start again. This system is so easy to use. Modify to your needs and put as many lights on the circuit as you want. And they're colored. And in this case, they twinkle. So again, <laughs> bone folders come in handy. Absolutely. And just making that cross the positive side of our light stickers. And there we go. All we need is a sticker. So as far as the stickers are concerned, the literally peel and stick. You just want to match up your shapes. There we go. We're going to bring in some yellow LEDs. And each of our light stickers are clearly labeled with a letter corresponding with the color. So Y is yellow, R is red, B is blue. So I'm just going to steal it. <laughs> Just going to peel it off its backer, make sure it's in the right position. One, two, three, we have a yellow light and let's make it two. Like I said, it's okay to overlap these because they're conductive on both sides of the sticker. All right, let's check this out. And she twinkles. Perfect. Just what we wanted. To finish off the inside of my card, I'm just going to continue on wrapping the outside of the back of our card today with three dimensional foam pieces. There we go. Continue with the top and the bottom. So now that our circuit is done, let's close up our card. I always make mine open because I want to be able to show the circuit, but you are going to close this up and call it done. Make sure your batteries are in place and let's check this out. Here's the front of our card. Let's turn out the lights. And there we go. Her cute little star lights up and twinkles. And one final note before we go, if you were going to send this interactive card to somebody special and you didn't want to stamp the word push or push here or press on the front of your card, just leave them a little message on the inside of the card just to let them know how to make those lights shine. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I'll see you again sometime soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.